Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. We are just going to see what comes up. And what do we have for a message today? The sun and the world both reversed. Well, hip, hip, hooray. So the sun and the world, this is sadness, poor health, uh, false impressions, resisting change, stuck in the present. We got somebody here that the cycle is over. They're in a very unhealthy cycle. They're in an unhealthy situation right now. They're stagnant. They're resisting change. There's no growth. There's no fertility. There's a need to end this cycle. But there is somebody is in a dark place. And they are probably, well, they're flogging a dead horse with that world card reversed. Refusing to listen to anyone. We have somebody here that is not seeing clearly. This, this, this cycle is over. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. There could be some sad news that is coming. I just got to be honest with you. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. This is no closure. Lack of success or short lived success. There's poor logic here. We have somebody here is not being logical. Temperance reverse. Interesting. It's almost like they're fighting the universe. The universe is playing, they're fighting change. Will not accept. This is, I will not accept. Because temperance comes after death, there's obviously an ending here. Somebody does not want to accept that there's an ending. We do have somebody that's in a deep, dark place. These are all major cards. The universe is trying to get somebody to change. They're trying to get somebody to see the light. But we have somebody that's refusing to see the light, refusing to wake up. Temperance reverse, something is off. We have somebody that is engaging in negative patterns. Okay, this, this is a lack of self-discipline. There could be a conflict with temperance reversed. There's some sort of inconsistency here. Somebody is having a hard time accepting reality. That something is over. A lot of frustrations here. Frustrations here, frustrations here, frustrations here. And this is extremely frustrated. When you fight the plan, when you fight something, when you fight what the universe has in store for you, it's going to be rough. Okay, you're going to be in a deep, dark place when you fight the plan. So somebody is, is definitely going against the grain. Probably, you know, hoping for a renewal, hoping for a reconciliation with somebody where that cycle is over. These cards could both represent in the upright reconciliation. Oh, I don't have any closure. It's not over yet. I'm here to tell you it is. It's over. Accept it. So we got somebody here that is just flogging a dead horse. We also have poor health here. This is extremely unhealthy. And this could be extremely unhealthy behavior. We could have some addictions here. Right now, right now, this is somebody that is extremely frustrated. 
They're unbalanced. They can't manage their feelings. They could be going overboard. They're in a dark place. This is emotionally unstable. There's loneliness due to disillusionment. If you could only accept that something has ended or didn't grow for a reason, you wouldn't be so lonely. But because there's a lack of acceptance, there's loneliness. And you can be with a partner and be lonely. Especially if you're with the wrong one that doesn't reciprocate and doesn't match your vibration. But there's disillusionment here. We got somebody here who's disillusioned, refusing to see that it's not meant to be. Probably because they've been fed the illusion by another illusionist. Four majors. So somebody is totally 100% fighting the universe. Universe has a plan. It's a written plan. We have somebody here that is corrupt. Not interested. Power hungry. Has deserted you in your time of need. This is somebody that is not experienced, that is probably on the wrong side of the law, that is probably going overboard. I feel like uh, there could be some anger here. Somebody could get be really, they're in a dark place. There's darkness here. There's anger. There's anger. We could have somebody here that is, and when you get temperance in reverse, that is extremes extremely angry, extremely frustrated because there's a lack of success with the world card reverse. There's no success, but whoever, whoever this person is that isn't having any success or not having any accept, success because they're unwilling to change with temperance reverse, Un, unwilling to accept that change is needed. Very controlling energy. I don't, and, and there could be, you know, some sort of title to live, live up to. We definitely have poor health. We could be dealing with a father. We may have something to do with a father here or just somebody that is, uh, it could be a mother, but this is somebody that is very, very unhealthy. Okay, we have a very unhealthy individual here. Or somebody has an unhealthy attachment to an individual who is power hungry. Anyhow, there could be, you know, that world card reversed. Hmm. Ah, Ace of Wands. That's in the past. Oh, two more. Lovers reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Now there's a new opportunity, and I think there's a, we have the end of a contract here. There's a separation. Somebody is going to be going down another path, and I think it's because they have another option. And I feel like there's well, this lovers reversed is a separation, a separation from a false contract, needing to accept that you're in a false contract. I know a lot of you are pointing at your ex. You're saying he's in a false contract. I'm sorry, honey. You're delusional. This is a reality check. It's time to accept.
whoever you're dealing with has a new partner. Anyhow, this is this this is a detaching from a false contract. There's another opportunity. A golden opportunity. But you have you, this is a card of choices and it's a card of consequences. You can choose to be lonely and unhappy and sad and frustrated. Or you can choose to detach from the false contract. You can choose to detach from the illusion. The choice is yours. Somebody needs to release an individual that deserted them in their time of need. There is a golden opportunity to start over from scratch with somebody new. Somebody has been presented or they will be presented with a new opportunity. Okay? They will be. This is a new opportunity. It's a very fertile time. This is something that you have been asking for. You may have been asking for happiness, asking for something solid, asking for stability, asking for something real. Here it is. There could be a new sexual partner coming in, somebody that is real, somebody that is solid. Somebody is receiving an offer, and it doesn't have to be a sexual partner, it could be anybody. It could be, uh, could be a work partnership. Whatever it is, this is a, this is a uh, solid, stable, golden opportunity for success and permanent, long-term abundance, okay? This right here is uh, I'm just seeing where it's pointed at. It's pointed up at temperance in the world reverse. It's a new opportunity for growth. To start over, to start from scratch. This is, this is, uh, a sudden, it could be, there could be an, I was going to say instant, something could happen instantly. Somebody may, because this, this is pretty sudden as well. This is an unexpected choice in love. So it, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to suddenly receive another opportunity. This is a real solid opportunity. This could grow. It, it, it could grow into something solid. There's, there is a need. There's a need to accept it. There's a need to take that golden opportunity. Take it. Just take it. Just do it. The Ace of Wands is just do it. This is exciting. It's fertile. This is a fresh start. This is a chance to start over from scratch. Be practical. Be realistic. This is something that you can hold on to. This is a gift. It feels like somebody is going to be receiving an offer that, you know, it's a gift from God, put it that way. Those, those are the hands of God giving somebody an offer, giving them something that, well, it's a passionate offer. It's an exciting offer. It's very sudden. But you will have to detach because this is detaching from a false contract. Somebody needs to detach. And I feel like there, 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 there could be a separation because of it. There could be an instant attraction. That's what I was trying to say. Somebody could run into somebody and have an instant attraction, which causes them to the need to detach. But they've been struggling to detach. And since they have, I feel like they've already run into this person or they're about to. 
and maybe there's an instant, this is like an instant attraction that leads to abundance. This is what you asked for. This is the opportunity that you asked for, but you're not seeing it clearly. You gotta wake up, you gotta detach from the false contract. Somebody may be holding on to a partnership just for the money, just for the financial stability. That's the reason. That's what I think is going on. They haven't learned their lesson. Both these cards about lessons. Somebody hasn't learned their lesson about what's more important. We have disillusionment. We have unhappiness. We have poor health. We have sadness. And I feel like there's, there is a desire for something more. But the only way to get it is to go for it. Somebody needs to go for it with that Ace of Wands. That is go for it. This is a new desire. It's a new ambition. It's a new drive, okay? Somebody may get a new vision after they have been unable to accept a loss or something like that unable to accept that something is over this could be an epiphany and i don't need the ace of swords i feel like somebody is getting maybe it's a reality check maybe it's time to accept reality i feel like there there could be a, an upcoming separation i think i already said that I, or there could be a conflict with the lovers reversed I feel like we have somebody that is in a one-sided partnership where there's probably no passion. There's no passion. There's no growth. There's no passion and growth there, you know? It's like with the sun card reverse, it's cold. It's cold and dark. So I feel like we have somebody here that is in a, this is a union that just isn't compatible. It's not compatible. And I think they've been flogging that dead horse. There's no victory with the world reversed. And but there but you know, with with temperance, it's like repeating. It's repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. And I think the re the mistakes are being repeated because, you know, something to hold on to, right? It's something to have. It's you know, it's better to have something than nothing. But there's an opportunity that right here that you could take that is even more abundant and there's passion in it as well you know that there's abundance and passion i feel like the heat is on you know this is this is in this relationship there's no heat there isn't there's no heat it's cold but here i mean this is the ace of wands it's hot there, there's an opportunity for passion and growth. And I, I feel like somebody is presented or they're going to be or right now. I think that they've already been presented with the opportunity. I think the opportunity has already presented itself. And that's why there's so many frustrations now. Because the opportunity has already shown itself. And right now, there's a need to accept change but whoever this person is is having a hard time because they were hoping for things to work out they were hoping for a reunion or a reconciliation or something it's now it's time to get real it's time to get practical because you, you're going to be presented with an opportunity that is really really real this is something you can take to the bank this is something that can last and this is something that is stable and solid and secure i think the opportunity has already been presented but it hasn't been taken because I feel like we have somebody that, you know, is still in a cycle that they need to break free from. And they can't break free from it. Maybe it's because of ego with that emperor reversed. It could be. Or the sun reversed. Anyhow, um... I do see a separation here, definitely. It's coming. It's in the future. There's this is this is this is coming. Okay, there's, and it's because there's another option, and this is a fruitful option. Okay, this is something that. Uh, well, it's a gift. Okay. 
This is the fruitful option right here. This is this is a blessing. It, it's it's everything that you asked for. Princess of Cups reversed. So there, there's an unrequited love situation here. We have somebody that is in a partnership where there is not uh, mutual feelings. And we have somebody here that is obsessed. They are infatuated. They are infatuated, they are obsessed, or they just do not want to accept. This is a rejection. It's tears. It's sadness. It's It's... I don't know, there could be some sad news that is coming with the Page of Cups reversed. This is this is unrequited love. This is uh, a rejection of some sort. We have somebody that uh, may be shedding tears over a separation. And, it, and it, you know, the, I do believe for some of you, but that temperance reverse, we could have, and I'm going to change the story a little bit, temperance reverse is, is addictions. Okay, so I'm not sure if somebody is going overboard with their addictions. Maybe they've had a loss of a partnership. They could go overboard and, you know, I'm not sure if they, you know, um, there's addictions here. There could be drinking, drugs, something like that. They may leave without saying goodbye, put it that way. You know, somebody may, you know, hopefully they don't have an overdose. I'm just being honest, temperance reverses going extremely overboard extremely and that sun card is unhealthy it's very unhealthy you know I feel like somebody is in an unsuc unsuccessful partnership unsuccessful partnership and they're only and they're in it for the wrong reasons they're in it for all the wrong reasons and there is another opportunity here. I mean, what? I don't need to keep going. Somebody has their heart set on an individual that is emotionally unavailable. Wake up. Get real. You have another opportunity right here, right now. And you know who it is. That's my belief. Good luck.